Hello there, um, people of YouTube. I've never really made such talking videos before. So before we start, I'll have to mention a couple of things. So first of all, I don't want you to hate on anyone. I don't want you to give any hateful comments. Let's keep it civil. Let's make this like a discussion or a debate or something. And secondly, I was always on the side of casual players. I was against uh, found and raid flea market thing. I was against weight limits that uh, slowed you down when you were running. Uh, I also was was asking, telling BSG that maybe maybe they should reduce the amount of XP which you need for um, leveling skills because it's it's insane to level. Like it's, it takes so much time to level skills right now. If you don't play the game non-stop, it's impossible to get maxed out search or attention or very high strength and endurance. And for average players which play this game, I don't know two three four whatever amount of hours per week it's just impossible to get it and every half a year we're getting a wipe so all of your skills are getting wiped out so yeah casual players who just want to enjoy the game i'm with you well if we get back to my rant i actually talked about three aspects i heavily focused on uh, camping uh, but i also talked about the sink and cheaters so let's talk about ver those two First, cheaters. I am so done by getting fucked by cheaters in the ass. Well, technically, they, I'm getting fucked in the eyes, but you get the point. The amount of cheaters on laps, which just kill you through the walls, which surprisingly know your position. It it was it was it was really bad at some point. I I was I, I couldn't even play laps anymore. It's 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 much better now, but sometimes it still feels unplayable. I don't know if the feeling of less cheaters on laps comes from actually less cheaters being in the game or from the fact that they're playing other maps now for more profits or for some other reasons but I think that all of us can agree that uh, maybe we need something on top of battle like anti-cheat like I don't know uh, an, an overwatch system or I don't know BSG timing out those uh, very sus accounts with very sus stats and I also think the RMT should be should be looked at. All the people who are buying from hackers or buying boosts, uh, they they should be banned as well. Maybe maybe like for like 30 days, then 60 days, etc. With every consecutive ban they get, a longer time period. But I just don't see a reason if there is two naked guys with the cheer on laps. He clears the whole map, and then those two nakeds loot the whole map, and they're not getting banned. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why not? You can clearly see it from logs and the stats. Like, just just, just do something. See if it works. And the next point is the sync. I don't really have much to say about the sync, except the fact that it's annoying. And it's been in the game for, for a long period of time. I remember that in patch 10.7, 10 the sync wasn't that bad. And the game felt really smooth. I don't know what happened, but I know that PSG is working on upgrading the servers and uh, rewriting netcode, so best of luck to them. And last but not least, campers and extra campers. So if the first two points which we talked about BSG is addressing, they working with battle and anti-cheat, they checking the stats, they banning cheaters manually, and they working on decreasing or getting rid of the sync by getting better servers, increasing tick rate, rewriting the code, etc. That's good. But I don't think, well, it's pretty debatable that nothing is being done ex uh, against actual campers because it's a valid strategy. But I think it's something we should have a look at because I feel like that's a that's partly a game design's fault. You know what? It actually reminded me of uh, Mortal Kombat uh, plays. You know when uh, when one when one player is just spamming the same kick or punch or whatever to win the game, and and then he wins, but I don't feel like it's fun. Another player didn't have any fun, like there was there was no fight. They didn't ex they didn't get any experience. They didn't experience different combos. They uh they they didn't move around. Like you know, game is supposed to be fun. There is supposed to be I don't know a connection between players when they fight, and. It, this is what extra camping is. At the end, he gets the loots, and I would say that's it. That's that's a lazy way to get the loots. And the other person who was uh, 
killing someone, looting, gets to the extraction and dies, he just gets frustration and that's it. So going back to my original point of this being a, um, a game design fault, well, if we simplify Tarkov, we can say that you spawn on point A and you go to point B while looting and killing. The problem is that point B is usually the same extraction because on most of the maps, half of the time, uh, um, other extractions are being closed. So you have to go to the, to the main extraction. And this is exactly where you're getting camped. So 50% of the time you have to get there and it's, it's impossible to check every single bush and every single rock because in most of the extractions uh, people who sit there they can see you from very far away and you can't see them or hear them and dying to something you can't hear or see is just frustrating and I don't feel I don't, I don't feel fun if that happens to me so how can we fix it? well I have a few ideas and I'm pretty sure BSG heard of them first idea is uh, literally implementing more extractions in every single map, having three, four, five available extractions, so you don't have to go to to the same extraction nearly every single raid. And the second idea would be increasing the extraction zone. Let me show you. Let me open my professional software. Paint, boom. So let's talk about customs. Customs, yeah. Um, it looks something like this, doesn't it? You know, a river, all of that stuff. And right now, there is literally uh, three main extractions. Here, here, and here. So this one, uh, or this one, basically this is crossroads, and this is the bunker extraction. So you have to go to one of those points. Why not enlarge those zones? Why not make those zones bigger? So you don't have to get into a specific point and you can extract on a larger area. I feel like that could help with fixing uh, the extraction camping issue, if you can call it in a way. Yeah, yeah, it's not an issue, it's a play style, I get it, I get it. But I generally think this is going to make a game feel healthier. Because it's very frustrating for, uh, I think, everyone to die to extra campers, especially the new players. I, I can't imagine how they feel, bro. You just buy the game. You finally get a proper rate, then boom, this happens. Yes, you can play the game how you want and plenty of different playstyles, blah blah blah, we all heard of that billion of times, but I personally feel that the game concept is about understanding the game, getting better at the game, and then winning the game. I feel that journey is actually what makes uh, the fundamental fun. Or maybe for me personal, uh, it gives me a, a, a competitive side of gaming. Uh, and you, you can completely disagree with that. Um, I'm totally fine with that. But from my perspective, this is how gaming works, at least for me. I didn't really want to make this video very long, so we're not going to go too deep into the discussion of uh, camping and actual camping. But I'd love to read your replies on Twitter and, uh, and, and see if you got the main point. Oh, you didn't so yeah let's get into that feel free to pause the video if you want to fully read the tweets who are you to say what determines what playstyle determines who is good better at the game well it's not a playstyle which determines who is better at the game it's common sense which determines how you become better at the game you become better at the game by exploring new areas uh, trying different tactics Learning how to use nades, learning how to push different rooms, uh, learning how the different mechanics work, and nothing of that applies to extra camping. Secondly, it ruins the fun for everyone else. I mean, I think we can all agree that extra camping does ruin the fun for everyone. Well, ex except the extra camper, I guess. Couldn't the Red say the same thing about the Shift W gamers? Not really, because Shift W gamers are actually perfect for the Red playstyle. In any way, you're being honest to your opinion, as being your opinion doesn't mean it's right, and everyone else who thinks otherwise is full of shit. Uh, I never said that. I said that people who say one thing and then say other thing are full of shit. For example, some people who are shimming. Um, saying on Twitter that oh it's just a playstyle, let them play how they want and then on streams they complain about uh, 
extra camping and all of that stuff, they're the ones who are full of shit. In this community, I try to give voice to those who play in a slow fashion such as me, so when I see a post attacking a few specific playstyles, I will speak up. No hurt towards you, you're a monster in Tarkov, and when I turned in, I had nothing but good times. Yeah, as I, as I, as I said, like, uh, I don't have anything against slow plays, but slowly moving through the map, looting stuff, killing scavs, doing quests, and sitting in the bush for 20 minutes without a single move, it's a different thing. Extra campers are a no-go, not a fan and I don't support it. People aren't going to like this part, I understand what Tarkov is, but you also have to expect some reality, just like in real life. Um, you should be careful cleaning, cle clearing, cleaning, clearing all the rooms and all that other stuff. I wish, I wish everyone was like this guy speaking on Twitter. Polite, making good and easy to understand points. No bullshit. Tarkov is a survival game, not a battle royale. You don't need to shift W everywhere all the time. Being quiet and getting to jump on the shift W player while there is stomping through isn't camping. It's playing smart. Completely agree with that. Just because you got surprised doesn't mean we're camping. Well, if you aren't camping, then it's not really related to my post, is it? Because my post is about camping and extra camping. So that's kind of different, right? Um, fair point. I do understand that people people have different skills and um, people have different time to play the game but bro the more you play the better you become honestly I think it's because they nerfed so much loot and it's made people poor and always scared to be poor so they're playing like this even good players are dying a lot and don't have as much money as they usually would um, I think that's a valid point yes it's more difficult to make money in the game now and I think it did lead to people playing slowlier and uh, safer in a way, so yeah, I agree with this one. LOL, eat shit. How about you suck it up? I speak specifically about actual camping when I say this. It ruins the game, it ruins the experience for players, it doesn't do anything good, it's easy loot, that's about it. However, they don't get Tarkov experience and a player gets their weight ruined. And that's coming from a guy with the name Red Streams Chat. Completely, completely agree. I'm willing to bet the way you die to actual campers is because you shift W like 90% of the people in this game. Scope out the area and use concealment. Play Call of Duty inside the resort. The outside part is for the hardcore players. I mean, just, just imagine a team of five axles. Camping and extraction on shoreline with 5 meta AKs. Alright, let's say 5 meta HKs with thermal sights. How the fuck am I supposed to fight them? How? Of course, camping is not against the rules, however, that also won't stop me from calling you a little bitch as long as I loot you and then spitting on your dead body. Fucking try me, bruv. Fair point, but my previous example with 5 axles camping extraction with meta guns still applies. We do not care. <laughs> Everyone always makes fun of and whines about W key COD players in Tarkov, but if you say one thing about the rats and extra campers, people freak out and go, don't be toxic, it's a valid playstyle. Kinda true, I guess, yeah. Well, I think this is it. I didn't include all the tweets since we are running out of time. Um, and yeah, by the end of this video, I'd love to say that hope you had fun watching it. And most importantly, respect each other. Don't hate. Don't be personal. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <sighs>